Hey guys, welcome to episode 6 of 7 Days to Teach a PG. It's the day before the Horde. Arguably one of the most important days, besides, you know, the 7th one. Because the 7th one has top billing. But, today is a day for preparation. I want to clean the rest of this out. We have the workbench crafting as we speak. I remembered that I had to craft the claw hammer, so that burned us out of almost all our forged iron, but thankfully the forge got put down. And so now we're able to recoup some of our losses here. But the workbench is nearly done. I'm going to plant that down, see what we can throw together before we get our day started. Gross. And once the workbench is crafted, I'm thinking we'll take what we have here and see what we can throw together. We've got nails. I might be able to throw some mines together. Those cost. They cost iron. How many of these can we make? Um, okay, and our workbench is done. Slap that down. Oh, I can't put it there. Dang it. That would have been a cool little fun pimps. 4K, why three? Why three? I guess it would eclipse, whatever. Oh, but it lets that happen. Okay. It's a blustery, stormy day out there. landmines. Literally the only thing holding us back is duct tape and we're... I'm not really worried. You know what? I'm gonna... I am gonna make... Oh man, I can only make one. That'd be the wrench. Anyway, uh, let's make some more duct tape. And that should let us craft... I, I want at least ten. craft 10 of those. And you know what? We'll craft the wrench in our inventory. Oh, we need empty water jars for the Molotovs. Okay. I'm sure I have some of those, right? Alright. 10 more Molotovs? Sure. Why not? And Trader Jen's about to open, so let's get our day started. I'm gonna take more than half of that, throw it in the forge. It continues to melt down. Trader Joe's now open. Cool. Let's get the shit show on the road. Jen. Well, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? I don't need anything right now. Why did I do that? Act, eh. Let's see if there's anything worth working towards. So I might take some jobs today. Only two. We need at least six to make our wooden bow. Doesn't she have a wooden bow? No. Yes. I'm gonna need 5,160 coin. Boy, howdy, that would make Fortnite a little bit more approachable, right? Okay. If you find any extra medicine out there, I'll buy it off of you for a discount. Let's do the closest one. Oh, this is the best way to get... Oh, I would kiss you for, um, you know, apocalypse hygiene and all. I don't want a kiss from you, Jen. Am I gone? Funeral home. Not yet. Rawr. Why do I have my leather on me? I'm woefully underprepared for this, actually. Oh, 
right. Let's go do this job. Ow! Sheep. And we're here. Let's get this party started. Okay. Hallowed be thy name. Oh, fuck this little guy. <laughs> I'd get up like that too. Ow. I earned that one though. I deserved it. There's probably a bird up here. Yep. Here they are. I'm gonna take that car apart too. Oh, I guess after I deal with you. That's fine. All in all, a successful day, however, I am super encumbered, so we will be making our way back home. Ooh, oh, damn! You never know what you find in this crap. You don't need the die. I guess I can use what of these I have and then chuck the rest. Yeah. Cool. Get on our bike and get the frick out of here. All right, Jen. So, what are you buying today? Amazing! I hope you like your reward. I do. I'll take ammo anytime. Let's do. We did fetch. Let's go the extra. You looking to earn some dukes? I got jobs for. Do hurry. I have a protection payment coming up soon. I hope you come back and see me sometime. Getting mixed signals from you, Jen. First it's you won't kiss me because of hygiene. Now you're wanting me to come see you some more. Don't play games with me, Jen. All right, let's drop down some of these little trees. We need some more wood. I guess that's it. I do want to see what I can upgrade. down here. I don't want them because I need I need to give them a way to come after me otherwise they're just gonna stay outside and rip the barn apart. So I need to find a way to let them think they can make it to me but what if I left this the way it is and I made like a stairway right here like I cut this whole floor out made a stairway along the wall up and then across this and I could put you remember those hatches I had that were right there I could put those in but I could line that whole wall with them and basically I could lower the hatches come over fight them on the stairs and then when I get overwhelmed I could run back over here and hit the hatches as I go and then Let's try that. There's a drop coming in. Let's try that.
Okay. Looks like just a couple. So I'm worried. Whoops. I'm worried now because I worry that they won't jump up here or they'll punch up and break this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it so I don't fuck up their pathing at all and they think they can jump. And what I'm going to do... Slap a plate up here instead. Great then. And that should make it so that they feel like they can get up. Okay. And now we'll just cut this whole thing out. Matches. All right, I'm not going to use any more of my daylight to do this. I'm going to go up on my bike. If you're uh, feeling under the weather, I've got just what the doctor ordered. Now that was a good deal. Whatever, kid. Let's go. Oh, there's a drop in this general direction. Why don't we go get the drop first, and then we can hit the POI on the, or the mission on the way back. That makes the most sense to me. Here's the drop. Okay. Let's grab that. Come on. A farm bundle and some food. Let's go get some real rewards. Somebody up there in that plane thought I needed those things, and that makes me upset. Although, to be fair, I do generally make a habit of making a farm in my longer running series. We'll definitely be seeing that in the next series I do in Seven Days to Die, which is going to be much different than this one. It's going to be a, a much longer running. Um, so that's exciting. I'm interested to see how that goes, but I don't want to say anything else yet. Back in the desert. There's a bird up there. Looks like he wants to fuck around and find out. Come on, then. Wait until I'm not looking at him, I'm sure. Grab some wood. Cool, that's always helpful. Hello? Oh. Sorry, I would have knocked. I just, I didn't think, ow. I didn't think anyone was home. Really? You want me to go to the bathroom? This is a cute little cabin. You guys look here yourselves. I love it. It's very cozy. Whatever, man. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Jeez, you can take a beating. Ow. Hey, a little six padded hood. Cool. And we're done. Cool. Ammo. What do I say? I mean, that's the whole reason we came out. Was was for ammo. It's nine mil, not my 
preferred. I'd like some 7.62 so we could use the machine gun. But as it stands, I think we're going to be relying on... Damn! Melee a lot in this run. I'm going to take this workbench apart because we need the forged iron. Great! Okay, everyone. Good day. Let's go home. Turn this in and see what there is to do after that. Ooh, I want to take that car apart. Let's chat up Jen, see what else there is to do with her. I don't think she's got anything else I want to buy, but I never need to double check. And besides, we got a job to turn in. We've got the best prices in the wasteland. You said you had a protection payment, lady. I'm here to Congratulations. get my reward. I can make my payment to the Duke yeah, now. Yeah, I'm glad. Uh, yeah, okay. It's definitely going to help me more than the batter book. Sell those to her. I don't need that shit. Farming bundles. This is a seven-day series. I don't have time to set up a farm. Ah, oh, we're still short. Damn it, and she restocks day seven, I bet you. I'm gonna just grab whatever I can to sell. I want that bow. Let's go sell this, get that wooden bow, and then the rest of the night's gonna be base work. There's not enough time to go get anything done. And we've got all day tomorrow to look for ammo too, especially if we get a lot of the prep work done tonight. Which is the plan. I am so glad to see your face. I get lonely sitting by myself all day. I can only imagine your only company is that admittedly ruggedly handsome Trader Joel sign behind you. Here we go. Buy these. Was that enough all on its own? <laughs> Ten short. Okay. Wooden bow. Thanks for the business. We're open from dawn to dusk since... You know, we don't have clocks. Yeah, well, thanks for the bow. Because wouldn't you bow it? It's exactly what I needed. I'm hilarious. That's pretty, right? Because all I'm really doing is saying, okay, the zombies want to get me, fine. I'll lure them up here with my delicious, tender gnome flesh, and then they'll come after me across here, and I'll go, All right, that means it's gonna be dark any second. So can I run across here really quick? So if I, Nice! Boom. So that'll give us, you know, a decent amount of iron arrows. I don't hear any zombies around, but that doesn't surprise me. Looks pretty quiet. So, uh, thank you guys so much for joining me today. Um, I hope you enjoyed episode 6, Tomorrow is the Horde. Uh, so I'll probably spend most of the day tomorrow getting this place ship shape then maybe we'll go out and look for some more ammo <clears throat> And then we'll hunker down and face the series finale head-on But thank you guys again so much for spending time with me today You didn't have to and you did and I appreciate it. I hope you had as much fun as I did uh, And I look forward to seeing you in the next episode in the meantime catch you later